Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Spongebob Butterfly Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we finished up Rock Bottom and got to the Mermelayer. So, we're gonna continue it. I see that button over there. I'm gonna go grab that. Bonk. Bridge activated. Okay, so I'm gonna hop over here as Patrick so I can grab that sock. And continue. I just realized how good the Mermelayer song is. Okay. Ugh! Jump, jump, grab. There you go. Okay. So now I need to continue the rest of the level, SpongeBob. Oh, actually, I need to do this first. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Kill you. There you go, get this. Is there a button up here? Yes, there is. Left wall jump activated. There you go. Boop. Dead. Cool. Cool. Uh, boop. Do no 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 no. Fuck! I hate Chuck. Can I tell you? Can I tell you just expressly how much I hate Chuck? Like I don't like Chuck. There you go. Okay. So now there's nowhere to go. Actually, there might be. Like if I look around. I don't know. You don't know anywhere where they could have planted the sock. Nah, you have to go down the slide. Okay. I mean, you could take the leap of faith over there. That's probably something you could try to do. Yeah, I'm gonna take a leap of faith. Arg! Arg! There you go. Screw the slide. Nobody needs it. Die. Die! Welcome to the clubhouse. You must die. <laughs> oh, hello. You must die. Oh, oh, I got this area now. There you go. Hello, Mermelayer computer. Bye, 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 bye. There you go. See, they're they're not they're not talking to him. They're talking to us. There you go. Get in the box. Uh, I don't know why we need this. I guess because. Hey, okay. Well, how would you? Hmm. Screw it. I'm not gonna worry about that until now because I don't think that's really necessary. I was like, where would that direct you? I don't know. I'm gonna go over here. Because the bridge would open over there, but uh, you need to do that to get to the villain containment area. Which I don't know about. Mermelayer security tunnel. Makes sense to me! Okay, there we go. Press this button to read the signs. There you go. I'll try. Okay, there you go. 
I'm gonna not I'm not gonna say that quote anymore. Officially no longer going to reference that game. I have not played it yet. Damn it. Grab. Ah Okay, whatever. Uh basically the mermelayer see I would say like 90% of the mermelayer is fun, you know. It's just a cool atmosphere. To be just you know, you're playing inside the mermelayer, you know, just That sounds like every kid's dream. And yet some areas, I hate it. Because <laughs> soon enough, I'm really going to get to probably one of the worst segments of this level, if not the whole game. In this episode, we're going to get there. Anybody who has played through this game and tried to 100% it, you know. What I'm about to experience will not be fun. The thing is, I like this world. I mean, compared to Rock Bottom, this level's a fucking masterpiece. Dead. Like, you'll probably get hit once by Arf, and that's it. There, so hit that button. And there you go, you get a free golden spatula. I'm like, duh, right? Of course you'd buy it. You know, of course you'd do that. But, there is one more thing here. Do I take... Sure, I'll get the upper path. I'm pretty sure this is all just for a sock. But, uh... Oh yeah, I see that sock lurking up there. Oh! <laughs> May as well just catapult yourself all the way down there. Oh hey, I can kill Arf again. Die! What are you doing running away? You joik. You sick joik. Bang. There, okay. I'm gonna fish for these shiny objects. <laughs> SpongeBob is just spouting random enemy quotes just because. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do to make things easier on myself? Not only do uh, you need to die, because I hate you. I'm gonna hop in this box. Let's see, let's talk to Gary. Okay, good thing I already finished it, so whatever. Okay, what I hate so much in this level. Press the R button to enter the rolling ball area. So, the rolling ball area. <laughs> oh, already hearing that sound effect pisses me off. Oh, yeah, there's the security button. Yeah, that's, that's all you have to do. Okay, so, the thing is, there's a Duplicatotron all the way up there. What you're supposed to do, the intention is, is for you to go grab the, um, cruise bubble, and, uh, go hit that Duplicatotron so that every time you try this, you don't have to deal with robots. 
However, it is possible to do it with the robot spawning because there's only like two robots in this area. So that returns you to the Mermelayer main chamber. This area is completely optional. However, since I'm doing it a 100% run, there is no such thing as optional. So, <sighs> I'm gonna just try this a few times. If I can't get this just a few times, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, hit this thing. There you go. And it's too late. Awesome. I don't know the timing for any of this. Yeah, when you start hearing that whirring sound effect, you know. You'll know. Okay, get this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Wow, the game tricked me. Also, whoever can get inside there to get that uh, shiny object is a friggin... I'll consider them a god at this game. Because, yeah, that's how you kill yourself in this room. <sighs> I'm gonna try just one more time. Cause I swear to God, I would rather just wrap up the rest of the Merma, Merma layer than fucking have to continue doing this. That's fucked. Fuck this goddamn ball! <sighs> Hold on, let's try it one more time for real. See, this is the vicious cycle. It's like, you want to rage quit, but at the same time, you're so close and want to do it. You know? Like, couldn't that just be permanent? Too late. Fucking hell. What are you supposed to do? Like, there is absolutely no sense of timing with that goddamn area. It's just... Fuck! Fuck! You just hit that gear. Thing is, the window is so freaking weird. Like, the windows on this shit is just all sorts of screwy. There we go, we got it. Okay, so it's like, wait a few seconds and then hit it and you'll probably get the thing. Okay. So that's just there to fuck with you. No, no, no! Oh, no! I almost had it, man! Fuck! Oh my god, I was right there. I was right there. I almost finished it. Oh, because then you just do that, it goes in there, and then you just have to hit this button. That's it. That's all, that's all you have to do for the rest of the area. What does this button do? I'm just gonna try to figure that out. Oh, it raises the hammer so it doesn't get hit. Okay. Seems legit. Makes sense to me. Oh, fuck. I mean... If we get to 20 minutes and I haven't done it yet, I'll just say, fuck it. Like, if we get close to 20 minutes, I'll just be like... Fuck it. Okay, there. That's good. There, that's good. Okay, get this. Up there. 
step on the pad. Uh, it's too late. No. Please, 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 please. Oh, that's just permanent. No, 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 no! God, come on! I hate this goddamn. Okay, hold on a minute. What are you supposed to do? That's just fucking stupid. The the, the thing. Uh. I don't. I don't understand anything about this fucking thing. Literally, I. You step on it. And you're supposed to cock it back, otherwise it falls into the hole. Now, I ask, how far do you have to go? Oh my god, did the hammer button reset itself? Oh, Jesus. Okay. See, like, I remember this fucking area now. Like, vividly remember. Oh my god, the physics on this ball! God, it literally just sits there, waits for you to go too far, and then it falls off. Like, it doesn't, it's not responsive at all. Literally, you just touch the platform. If you touch the platform. Like, the first... What happened? I hit it! I, okay, that was weird. I hit the platform with the ball. I guess I was too soon? That doesn't make any sense, though. Like, that window would, like... Okay. Whew. Anticipation. You have to have you have to use anticipation to some degree. I guess the hammer waits for you to mess up. This is just a Rube Goldberg machine of death and destruction. Like like See, I understand that the Mermelayer is supposed to be weird and confusing, but, like, this is absolutely unnecessary. Like, nobody needs this. Okay, we did it. It's over! Oh, how long did that take me? About... Jesus fuck. It took me about like I don't know, like seven minutes. Holy shit. Ugh. They want you to come back with the cruise bubble. Well guess what? Screw you. Wow, there's only four socks here? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I think that other sock is with the, um, that bungee thingy. That, well, not the bungee, th the teeter-totter in the main chamber, which I might just get. Okay, there we go. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward. I promised you, you have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master... The master shutdown button. There we go, okay. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna hit this button, and, uh, I guess I'll just fight. I f should I just fight Prawn? I guess I will. How the fuck do you hit this button? There you go, we got it. Actually, isn't there a teleport box up here? Yeah, there is a teleport box. And I'll just hop in there. 
And when I'm done, I can just hop back. Okay. So I'm gonna go over here, hit this thing. Okay, let's see what happens. How? Wh How are you supposed to? I'm not gonna ask. That's what they want. I'm not gonna ask. If only there was a, a bus stop up there. I don't know how to get back. Let's just try killing myself. Let's see what happens when you kill yourself. Where does it place you? Oh, on the spinning platforms. Okay. I guess maybe I take this teeter-totter over to it? Hit this. Oh, where do you go? I don't know where the fuck you're supposed to go for this thing. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Whoever the genius was who decided to place a gosh dang um teeter-totter over there. Obviously had no clue what they were trying to design. I don't know, maybe the other slide can be jumped on? I don't know, let's see. I know this is a waste of time, but like... <laughs> okay. I may as well just go here. Because it'll probably take me over there. And then... Let me do that stuff. Okay, see, yeah, there's this teeter-totter. What does it do? I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere in this area. I don't know what that thing is, but okay. Ugh, I, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually, okay? Okay. It's time to go to Villain Containment Area to fight Brown. There you go, Villain Containment Area. This should be lickety-split fast. A guy we don't know about! Oh, I thought maybe 
and obviously just uses assets from Plankton and Mr. Krabs. Uh, this must have been like a last minute thing. Okay, screw you. I just want to kill you now. Okay. Sound waves! Ow, I'm getting hurt. Alright, so the main thing you want to do is just avoid Prawn's uh, ray thingy. And then eventually this thing goes off. And then certain rows of the disco thingy start stop going crazy. And then you throw bubbles at him. And then you bubble bowl. That's basically just what this is. Sure, of all the other sub-bosses, I mean, he is a step up from King Jellyfish, but, you know. At least Ke King Jellyfish is canon. To some fashion. Prawn is just nothing. He's original. Alright, well, I got one more hit. Please stop. Dead. No, no, not again. This is not fair. I got a frozen wedgie for this. Is this the end of Pro? Prime is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock. Next to a bunch of pink socks, it's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? Well then. So then just run over, grab the golden spatula, and you're done. You have all the golden spatulas in the mermaid I don't know where that last sock is, but I'll find it. <laughs> I'll find it when I do my inevitable uh, run around aimlessly episode where I try to find all the socks that I missed. Anyway, we're just going to hop over back to Bikini Bottom, and yeah, pretty much I only have to come back to the Mermalayer one more time. So, yeah. Anyway, next time on SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, that's the complete opposite direction, uh, we will be taking up to the slopes with... Uh, but uh sand mountain i'll see y'all next time only you can prevent forest fires